Hello everybody, John here, and today on To The Garage, we're doing a quick tool review. It's on the Vera BC10 Cyclop Mini 1 Ratchet. Those of you who watch the channel regularly will know that recently I was having trouble um, finding an appropriate tool to undo this bolt, and that's because on my Jaguar, it's behind the flange and other than taking the studs out you don't have line of sight for uh, an allen key or uh, torx to go into that nut and I've been using this which sort of got me through it's basically you've got a little chuck on the end and I saw the length down on this torx um, tool so that you could just about squeeze it into position behind the flange. But it's all a little bit Heath Robinson. Uh, the fact that it's got a flexi head means you don't really get all your torque and wasn't ideal. And there's lots of occasions when you want to use a, a, a Torx or an Allen or a Phillips bit and you just don't have access space. So thanks to some advice from friend and subscriber, Mark Body. Thanks, Mark. Um, I've decided to go for one of these. It's a Vera BC10 Cyclop Mini 1. And this is the item that I want. You know, this is bonus, but I want this quarter inch hex through drive ratchet, very small for these very confined spaces. Beautifully packaged. I've got a few Vera bits and pieces and they're always nicely done. Switch, six degree fine tooth, which means you haven't got to move the handle very far before it clicks into the next um, ratchet in position. All steel construction, and there's the different bit pieces it comes with. German made. So let's have a look what it's like. I'll put a link in the description below to where I got this from and what price so that you can have a look for yourselves. No point in quoting the price because I don't know when you're going to watch the video. And there she is. That's pretty. Let's get out of the box. Enjoy. You're a tool rebel. No idea why I'm a tool rebel, but I'll live with that. I've got a very tool rebel sticker. That's the back of the packaging. Front and pops out. I got a very set of um, diamond coated. Um, bits that come in a very similar package and um, still got the packaging because it's it's nice all right so we'll pop this out quite snug and you can see this is, we're talking about something very small uh, don't be fooled by pictures I actually wanted it small so that's um, no problem for me, but I can imagine how it could surprise some people. So we're talking eight and a half centimeters. It's quite heavy, dense for its size. Um, what we've got written around there: eight thousand one ABR one quarter. Eight thousand one, I think, is the material. Got this recess you can put your thumb over for comfort and you can turn it's got a ratchet on there and it's got the little reverser and you'll note the reverser has the Vera name and their patented pattern that's on the handles of all their screwdrivers and it's all really nice and there's that same pattern again so, why have I actually got this? What 
what's the function? Well, put that down, pick up the T30, I believe. Let's just check. No, that's a hex. just for looking at what this means is if you have a hole through the middle you can literally pop my tool bits through you have to go through one way ah, it goes through that way and I don't know how it's achieving it but it doesn't pop all the way through which is great because I did think maybe your thumb's going to hurt pressing down. So we'll have a little look at that. It's got little detents, and inside, let's go circle it. Just see the shiny bit there, just above the bit. And that's popping into that groove. Brilliant. So you can put your thumb on there if you want, but you don't actually have to and you've got brilliant access. And these are obviously pretty standard bit lengths, but now I can get into a gap, certainly three centimeters is no problem, but that's 26, I think. So I compare that to even my shortened tool. You see, I've cut this down to the minimum. We're at 42. So, much, much better, look at that, for accessing small spaces. And if we look at the space that was previously inaccessible, I'll make the gap as small as I can with a lump here. I can now just drop that so easily in. It's hard to do that when you're watching the camera. Um, and. no problem whatsoever if I open the gap up whoops we're literally flying around inside there so there you go the Vera Cyclop Mini Cyclop check them out I'll put the link in the description below thanks for the tip off Mark we'll be using that in the break saga very, very soon.